everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am covering part two of talking about Photoshop brushes. In video one, which I'll link below, I talk about the brush menu, how to import brushes. There are tons of free brushes on the Adobe site and how to use brushes in your images to add some creativity. So in this video, I wanna just give you the quick steps to create your own brushes because it is really easy and I think the options are just endless. So let's jump in with this image. Now I'm going to show you this example using a flower image, but you could create brushes with anything in any of your images. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is make a selection of what we want our brush to be. So for this brush, I'm wanting to do this flower that I could use in other images. So what I'm gonna first do is start with an object selection and making a selection with this tool. So over here on the left side of the menu, there's object selection tool. And this is one of my favorite um, selection methods. So I'm gonna just draw a box around this flower where I want it. And then we're gonna let Adobe's Magic AI do its trick. This object selection finder does a great job. So we've got a really nice selection. And what's great with creating brushes is you do not need a perfect selection. So we don't need to come in and get all into the nooks and crannies. This is going to work great for our brush. So the next step is you want to do Command or Control C to copy your selection. Now we're going to go up to the Home menu in the upper left corner. From here, click on New File. And then we want to select a custom file. Now, if you don't have one that's about 1500 by 1300, you can type that in here under your width and your height. You just need a small custom white document to work from. We're going to click Create. And now we have this nice small box. The next step is to do Command or Control V, as in Victor, to paste our flower selection in here. Now you can see it looks really large, but what we're going to do is do Command or Control T, as in Tom, to transform. And now we'll just start moving this until we get it the size that we want. So what I wanna do is just get it to fit in this box. And I'm gonna cut off that bottom part. Okay, that looks great. Um, you can click the checkbox or just click enter. So now we have this transparent layer with our cutout. The next step is we're going to go to edit and then define brush preset. Once you click on that, you can label it. So I can do Cosmo flower brush or flower um, purple, which the color really doesn't matter because it's a brush. Um, so I'm gonna take that off and click OK. And now look at that, we have our brush and it's saved at the bottom of our menu and we can drag and bring that into a collection of our own brushes if we want. So now we have this gorgeous flower. So I can go back, let me find my image. We can go back to this image and I could select a color. So let's go up and select this pink color and I can go grab my brush and there we go. I could pop in, that's at a low opacity. Let's go all the way up to 100% just to show you. There is my flower. So this comes in handy if you're wanting to maybe add some additional flowers. Maybe you have a field of flower image and you wanna add some more to it, or you're just wanting to create your own image, or um, really the, the options are absolutely endless. So let me show you a few other brushes that I've created using the same method. So I have one that is a big flower. Now with the bracket key, we can reduce the size of our brushes. And this is a flower that I had shot and then I just followed the same steps to make it a brush. And remember with your paint, you can go over things multiple times to make them darker or lighter. Okay, I also have a watercolor um, option where I can kind of make some watercolors and that was off of a petal on one of the flowers that I have. I have some fall grasses. 
I have a group of flowers. So these were flowers that I shot from my garden. And so I've got these and I can use them as they are. I could also use them as a brush. So brushing them and then reducing the opacity. So that could be an option. Let me go add a blank layer and I'll show you a couple others. I have a single, single flower group. So again, I just had an image with these flowers and I did a selection and made it a um, brush. And then I have this group of wildflowers. And this is one of my favorite ones. So let me undo this and I'll show you on a new layer. This is a group that's really nice because I can add this to other images. I can also um, overlay it as a brush and then reduce the opacity to add some texture to an image. And I have one other one. These are some more um, flowers from a garden. So I have created some just using flowers, but you can create brushes of any kind. And if you're kind of stuck on what to create, think about the brushes from Kyle and his selection. He has trees. He has birds. I mean, there's just leaves. Um, look at those leaves. You could make your own set of brushes following the same process that I just gave you. So have fun exploring. I hope you'll try to create your own brushes. If you do, let me know how it goes. I love to see the comments. And please subscribe to my channel. I post videos almost weekly, and um, I would appreciate your subscription and your support. Thanks, everybody.